we're ready to create an array that represents the missiles we can fire. Like the 2D game tutorial, we won't have an unlimited array. We'll fix the number of missiles that can be in the air at one time and just recycle dead missiles to use as new live missiles when the player presses the fire button. So head up to the top of the game1.cs file where you declare your variables. You'll see the declaration for your missile launcher head variable. Below that, add const int num missiles equals 20. Game object left bracket right bracket missiles. The first line specifies the cap on the number of missiles we can have alive at one time. It's set to 20, but could really be any number you like. We set it to const so we won't accidentally modify it in code. The second line is the actual array declaration. The brackets after game object specify that we're asking for an array, not just a single instance of the game object class. As you know, just declaring this array isn't enough. Like in the 2D game tutorial, we need to initialize the array, then loop through and initialize all of the elements of the array. We'll do that in load content, so go to it now. Inside the method, you'll see where you initialize the missile launcher head object. Below that, add the following. Missiles equals new game object, left bracket, num missiles, right bracket. 4 int i equals 0 i less than num missiles i plus plus the first line initializes the array to the correct size notice that we use the num missiles variable inside the brackets the number inside the brackets is the desired size of the array in elements we pass in num missiles so it'll size it to 20 Next, we start a for loop that will loop through all of the elements of this new array. Remember from the 2D game tutorial, a for loop is a bit more flexible version of a for each loop, where we can set our own variable, step, and conditions. The reason we use a for and not a for each is because a for each loop creates a current variable that represents the current array element and cannot be assigned to anything else but we will be assigning each element by calling new, and this would cause an error in a for each loop, so we use a for loop instead. Make sure to include the left curly brace. Add this under the left curly brace. Missiles i equals new game object. Missiles i dot model equals content dot load model quote models backslash backslash missile missiles i dot scale equals 3.0 f right curly brace this is the code that initializes an element in the array missiles i refers to the element in the array with index i and i is our counting variable in the for loop it will go from 0 to 19 20 elements so this code will get called on each element in turn. Each element is initialized. The model is set to the missile asset and scaled up by three times. It's a small model, so we'd like it to show up a little bigger. And of course, we close the for loop by adding a right curly brace. We're set. We have an array that's initialized and we can begin to loop through to shoot missiles. Next step, responding to a button press to fire the missile.